Hello everybody, Mandy here from the Bubble Hub. Um, so today what I'd like, um, what I'm going to show you all, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to make some um, painted stones. I don't think I've got any that are not painted. Um, but as you can see, um, there you go. Um, and so what I thought it'd be really nice um, to show you it is just some, some um, of my ideas around stone painting and what I do. Um, so as you can see, I've already painted them. Um, uh, so, so it just makes it easier when they're dry to work on. Um, so I've just left them to dry overnight. You don't have to, I think they dry a bit quicker. They probably dry within half an hour to be honest. Um, so I painted them in the acrylics paint here. That's what I painted them with. Um, I quite like the acrylics. Um, I, if you're working with children, I mean, by all means, use other paints. Um, but these really soak in really nice um, to the stones. And they last a little bit longer when they're out and about. Um, so that's why I kind of use them. I have great fun stone painting. I really enjoy it. And it's just really nice to be able to pick something up from outside and to be able to use it as a bit of artwork. Um, so one of the things I'd like to work on before Christmas, as Christmas is nearly here, um, I'd really like to show um, for if people want to get involved. In my local area, we have a Christmas tree and I think most people have Christmas trees. And I just thought, um, to feel a little bit more together and that we're all thinking of each other, I'm going to um, make mine into little Christmas presents and I'm going to put them under the Christmas tree in my local area, either with a little message you're referring to at Bubble Hub or, you know, at Credit Rocks or, you know, whatever message you want to put on there. If someone else was to see it, you know, it might be quite nice to put a thoughtful message on there of hope um, in the times we're in now. Um, so I'm going to make mine into little Christmas presents and if I get time, only if I get time, I'd like to say I'm going to do this is I want to hide them around the village. Well, not hide them, don't want to hide them too well. But um, so if the children did want to get involved, that the children then can um, go and find the presents and put them under the Christmas tree themselves. Um, so I've got some stones here. Um, so if I manage to get these done, I'll hopefully want to plant them around the village and do it before Christmas um, and see if my stones make it under the Christmas tree, but also if it grows or if anybody else is uh, wanted to put some presents under the Christmas tree or leave them around the village. Um, I did this back in the summer as a bit of a scavenge hunt um, and it was really great. I did it on like a little mile, little loop, which we used to do with the um, Just Get Moving. Um, and I think the, the town really enjoyed it, especially when it was back in lockdown. Um, so, but the, the only thing with that, and it is a good thing, um, because there's other things with the rocks going on round and about local where people can make them, um, pick them up, move them to different areas, or even keep them. Um, so that sort of like, um, when, when I do this, I'm fu fully aware that some of the stones might want to go to people's houses or move to other areas, and that's fine too. The, the meaning behind it really is just, just to feel together um, in really lonely times, you know, and, and if there's a message on the back of hope, um, I just think that just makes me feel, uh, I love doing the stones in the summer and I love to see the snakes and the caterpillars grow. Um, it just really gives that unifying togetherness without actually bringing people together and it, it was reasonably safe, you know. Um, so I'm gonna use, I've got these lovely pens. They weren't cheap. Um, they were off Amazon, uh, P-O-S-C-A, and I find them really quite nice to draw on stones. Um, they cover really nice and you can give a little bit more detail. Um, so let me see if I can just show you here. I'm just going to do some simple uh, present looking uh, stones here for you guys. And I'm just going to keep it really simple. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas presents, it can be drawings. I just thought it'd be really nice Christmas presents with Christmas and underneath the Christmas tree. Uh, you know, just that sense of uh, the time of year that we're in. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a nice little cross. I mean, you can use paints. Um, and, and they could just do little dots or circles or, you know, let your imagination run wild. Um, I really enjoyed, I haven't got them here with me, um, doing some with, uh, so whatever your children are into, like 
um, the cartoon characters. I, I, I won't mention them, but um, you, you could you could uh, draw them with them on the stones. There we go. Um, and I don't think it matters if if the paint doesn't really sit on them very nice. For me, it's just um, getting involved and having a go. But if you wanted it to last a little bit longer in the winter, a little tip for you guys. Um, if anyone's got any clear nail varnish, that works really super well. Um, so here we go. How super amazing is that? I mean, have a go with felt pens. I mean, I've just worked, uh, find out what works for me, really. Um, you know, if you're doing it with children, try the different paints. Um, but it is really nice just to protect them. Or even with just a thin layer of PVA glue will protect them. Because, you know, it's just really nice after um, people have done their artwork for it to last uh, as long as possible. I know where I live in Flinnerted Wells, it rains all the time. So um, the stones need all the protection that they um, that they can get, really. So how lovely is that? I mean, sat underneath the Christmas trees would just be, you know, lovely. So I've done one. I'm going to let that dry first. And I'm going to try, let's try one that's over, let's try yellow. What's really nice are these pens as well, is they really pop on the stone. Um, so I'm going to do another present. So I hope you're all ready for Christmas, in whatever fashion that's going to be. Uh, we're keeping it really simple and really quiet because um, with my disabled daughter, uh, she gets quite overwhelmed anyway and meeting up and gatherings she finds uh, really difficult. Um, so we were we were going to have a quieter Christmas this year anyway. Um, but it's just, it is, it's a bit sad that we can't go and see everybody. But we're on the last stretch, everybody, aren't we? We're on the last stretch. The vaccine is in sight. The end you know, to to this very strange time is so, so, so close. Um, so for me, it's just really important for us to just stay safe for just as long as we can, you know. Uh, when we go out the house, we are always assessing, you know, do we need to go? Is it important? You know, and how would we feel if someone got ill um, when we're out about it? But anyway, enough of that. We'll talk about Christmas. Uh, there's uh, been some lovely things on Facebook, to be honest, with Father Christmases and different things. And I've seen like the local town council and their team in Bilt have just been super amazing. They've been doing drops off round and about for the children, um, uh, just presents, because obviously um, you can't really bring people together now. And um, yeah, uh, it will be really, I know I'm looking forward to the day when we can kind of meet up, but it's really taught me a lot of COVID really, because... Uh, as a parent carer, I'd been living this anyway. Um, a bit of lockdown, and what I mean by that is, we didn't get out of the house anyway. And I, I, it's something I keep saying: it's welcome to my world, welcome to our world as a carer, because you know we didn't get out when it was when the going was good. So how amazing is it? Is that that is just a stone painted? I just think it's so beautiful. And I'm going to, when this is dry, I'm just going to write, I think what I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to put at Bubble Hub on it. And then I want to write a message of a nice, hopeful message, positive, positive something for anyone that picks this up and wants to read it. going to be my last one and I'm just going to start writing some messages on the back of them and what's really nice with these pens is they dry really quickly and they're really nice if you wanted to do something a little bit more detailed um there's another about you but when I'm using paint sometimes I just yeah but you you know you don't have to just get some paint out and paint it with the kids it's for me I don't really care how it does or doesn't look um it's about doing it with the children and in fact the more rubbish I do, 
you know, I remember I'll tell everybody a little story about um, me and my niece. Um, we, we made, uh, we were making a gingerbread house. Um, and this was back when I'd um, had the house fire. So I was living with my mum and my family at the time because um, I've got nowhere to live. And uh, me and my niece uh, decided to make a gingerbread house. And, and um, you know, we had great fun making it, mixing it. And anyway, when we come to put it together, um, it wasn't very good and it fell apart. But um, the, the most endearing thing was me and my niece had so much fun doing it. And we laughed when it all fell apart. And, I, and that sticks in my memory. It's not always about the end products. It's about the doing and the having fun and what do you learn, you know. Because we sometimes get very fixated on things being good and perfect. And I loved it it wasn't perfect. And I love things when they're not. Because um, they're unique. I love the little pictures that my children draw, you know. That doesn't mean anything to anybody else, but they mean plenty to me, you know. And their little faces when they've created something. You know, when I've made something, my son really likes to play with it more so than any of his toys. Uh, and it's about the doing it together and you learn so much when you come and you craft together. There we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to write um, a little message on the back. So I'm just going to put that bubble hub on it. And then I'm going to leave a little nice message on the back. Um, so, hopefully I can spell it right so I don't have to repaint it. And I'm just going to put hashtag Hashtag love. And then I'm, I haven't got any at the moment, but I'm going to nail varnish this afterwards. And, um, and that'll really just um, set off. And it gives it a really nice sheen shine as well. I'll put love again because I'm not sure I to spell some of the other ones. There we go. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it with me. I hope to be doing a few more little um, videos for you on um, on some of the craft uh, that I'm hoping to show you guys. Um, you know, if you want to give me a thumbs up or a, put a chat in the box, you know, feel free. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'd also love if anybody does um, do any of the stone painting and put it under the Christmas tree, I'd love, love, love a photograph. Um, so if anyone wanted to link in and do me a photograph and, and put it in the chat box or message me, I'd really love to see what you guys are up to and see how far this goes. Okay then, so I hope you've all enjoyed watching today and I'll um, speak to you all soon. It's bye from Mandy at the Bubble Hub.